Hello and welcome to another update video about DOT. DOT is currently following through on its bullish potential. I mean, the market is wild <laughs> again. You know, it's just ridiculous. Um, DOT is moving or uh, following its yellow wave count. That's also the bullish potential I um, explained in yesterday's video. I cannot remember if I communicated this one two setup in yesterday's video or if it was just communicated for our gold members um, who receive additional updates. But there was this um, direct upside potential on a smaller time frame. Yes, a small one to set up, but we've seen something similar on the say chart that was also communicated as additional solid one to set up. Um, there were a few others. Cake was one. Um, Dot was among the good ones here that showed a potential one to set up. And the communication was that as long as we're holding here the uh, 78.6 retrace level and we're leaning towards the yellow count here, yeah, um, we should be able to follow the yellow count towards $13 next and then $16 in circle wave three here. There are a few levels or targets that we can now look at, assuming that this indeed was a one two setup. Um, the price is now moving up in wave three of C. This here looks like a third wave. We also broke above the previous wave one high that formed here on Thursday. So it's all looking good. It's actually looking good. It also looks like solid uh, momentum that has developed here. Now, if we take a look at the microstructure, um, we saw this wave one, a wave two pullback and the third wave rally should take us, just looking at the microstructure here, yeah, minimally to $14, ideally to $14.58 plus. Then we should get a fourth wave pullback that could find support at $13. Would make sense because that's the larger degree FIB level there as well. And then a wave five can send us to round about $15.60, $16.38. So that is sort of how this should play out. The $13 level could still act as resistance because it's one of the larger degree Fibonacci levels. But that gives you um, an information here that tells you a lot about the roadmap that this structure should now follow. Let me take out the ones that we don't really need here. Um, yeah, so at least it gives us um, some levels to watch as we climb higher. Third waves typically reach sort of the 1.236 as a minimum, the 1.38 ideally. And yeah, so basically this is the ideal setup. That would complete then circle wave three we should then still get circle wave four and circle or just circle five. Okay, sometimes people ask me what do I mean with circle wave four? Well, it's just circle number in the circle. Circle four, circle five could then take us to $20, maybe even higher. I mean, this move up could also get extended, right? So this could be an extension to the upside. Um, circle three could easily extend and that means wave five here, circle five would also go higher. The higher wave three goes, the higher wave uh, five. Now important to recognize that there is also a structural resistance, quite important structural resistance at the $24 mark. Yeah, I think it's from 2022. And then looking at the overall structure, I mean, it, I'm leaning uh, towards the yellow count. That's what I mentioned also in yesterday's video. It's a large ABC structure, which could then, you know, develop further into an even larger ABC. We talked about that in yesterday's video. Um, feel free to check out yesterday's video for the larger context. Um, but the overall idea is this is an ABC structure. C wave can easily stretch out to 20 to $24. And I'm leaning towards the yellow count until support levels break because this is the more bullish count. Um, the white count would offer more clarity going forward, but it's short term less bullish and also hasn't shown any indication of topping. So in the white count, we're dealing with a larger five wave move here as a leading diagonal. And this wave one in white should top at some point. Doesn't need to top at the moment, could also extend higher. So as I mentioned in previous videos, the white count and the yellow count, they will be difficult to distinguish but um, we can therefore just go with the trend, go with the flow. And as long as we're holding the micro support levels, which we will adjust going forward regularly, we can focus on higher. And that led us to this one, two setup yesterday on the chart, which um, basically is uh, resulting in a nice rally now in a third wave. 
That's my update about Dot. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.